Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm here with Etty again, as you can see behind me. Um, she's not fully healed yet, so we're gonna be doing some more work on her poultice this morning, um, cutting the old one off and putting a new fresh one on. Um, we're down to doing that once a day now, which is much easier. She was having twice a day. Um, and we're also on cold poultices, so it's a little bit easier. Um, there's still pus coming out of the hole in her hoof, um, just a little bit each day, so we're still working on getting all of it out, basically. Um, we're hoping that by Monday, um, Saturday now, so by Monday hopefully it will have fully drained. Um, it would have been a week of poulticing then, which really should be enough to draw everything out. So we're hopeful that by Monday it will be done and she can just go on to a dry poultice and start getting back to normal with her. So, as you can see she's still wearing poultice at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that one off. And then we're going to start working on putting a new one on. Okay, Etty? I think she's getting fed up with this by now, to be honest. It's been a week. Um, she gets extra feed when she comes in, but I think she'd rather have it over and done with by now. So I'm going to go ahead and get on with that now. Okay, so I've changed Etty's poultice. She's got a clean one on now. You can see her munching on the hay net behind me. That should hopefully keep her foot clean for the rest of the day now. Um, as, as I said earlier this morning, there was still more pus on the poultice. Um, so we'll just keep plodding along, keep poulticing her until it stops coming out and it's finished draining. Um, I think if it's not done by Monday, we might look at getting a farrier out to come and have a look, um, see if he needs to do any more digging at the hole or trim any more hoof away, just to see, because it seems to be taking a long time to fully drain. Um, weather's not probably not really helping. Um, still pretty wet here. Had a hell of a lot of rain in the last couple of days. Um, I'm hopeful it's going to be a nicer day today. The sun did just poke its head out for about 30 seconds and went behind the clouds again. Hopefully it will stay dry today. Um, that should help it a little bit. But yeah, she doesn't seem to be in any pain anymore, which is a good thing. Um, she's been off butte for about five days now, so she doesn't seem to be in any pain. Um, she came in quite well this morning, so that's a plus, and hopefully we're getting near the end now. It's going on for quite a while, um, but still just massively relieved that she hasn't had to um, have any hoof cut away properly like the vet wanted to do originally if it hadn't started draining, because that would have been a big operation and with a horse of her age and don't think I've mentioned yet, she's terrified of vets as well. Um, as soon as she sees a vet, normally she starts, she just runs away and she won't cooperate at all. And you know, she's a big horse. I know I make her look small, but she's about 15, 2, 15, 3, chunky thing. So she could do a lot of damage if she wanted to and be a lot of stress and trauma on her. And then she'd have to be on box rest afterwards. So it would have come to the point of if she'd really, really said no, it would have been, well, is it really worth it? Um, putting a 24 year old horse through that much stress um, but hopefully you know thankfully it hasn't come to that so we can be pleased about that and hopefully she's almost fully mended. So for any of you that watched the first vlog you'll probably be aware that I talked about um, how we'd pretty much completely run out of grass through all the drought we had of the hot dry weather with no rain. Um, I mentioned that the horses had eaten their way through the summer field and their winter field as well. Uh, but with all the rain that we've had over the last couple of weeks, the summer field has really flourished. And you can probably see just from looking at the ground from there, you know, we've got real grass growth in here now. Proper lush, thick grass is growing in here. So that's brilliant news. Um, starting to look a bit like the horses weren't going to have any grass this year. Um, so to see this field growing the way it is now is brilliant news. So once Etty's better and she's back to normal again and the weather's improved a bit and it's back to being sunny again, they can come back in here. Um, and we could rest the winter field and hopefully that will start growing as well because usually they're in the summer field from depending on weather sort of February March time all the way through to about October November um, and then they're in the winter field obviously for over winter from November to March um, but yeah they've barely been in the summer field at all this year because it just hasn't had any grass in it so need to get them back in here as soon as possible really and let the winter field start growing again and hopefully we can get back to normal with having nice, two nice fields again. So there's one more member of our animal family that you haven't met yet. Uh, we don't just have horses. Uh, we also have a dog. This is Dugois. Say hi, Dugo. Hi. So Dugo is a seven-year-old lurcher. Um, he's a cross of just about every type of dog there is. Uh, he is Border Collie, Bearded Collie, Greyhound, Whippet and Slouky. Just couldn't 
couldn't fit much more in there to be honest. Um, Dougal loves nothing more than playing fetch. Basically, he would quite happily play fetch all day, every day. Um, and this is basically his favourite place in the world. He's got all these acres to run around. Um, and he just loves it. Don't you, Dougal? Hi. Say hi, people. Dougal is currently playing with his frisbee. He's only recently decided that he likes frisbees. It always used to just be tennis balls. And he wasn't interested in frisbees. That was his brother's thing, um, and then all of a sudden, in the last few weeks, he's decided that frisbees are great. So maybe you can teach an old dog new tricks. So we've actually had Dougal um, since he was a puppy. Uh, my partner actually had his dad, um, so he was bred from that, and he was the puppy that they kept. Um, so he's just having a rest now behind me. It's pretty humid and pretty warm today, so although he would quite happily run all day, we have to make sure he has a rest every now and then. Um, yeah, we've had him seven years now, as I said, he's seven years old. Hasn't shown any signs of growing up yet. We still call him puppy quite often because he still behaves like a puppy quite a lot of the time. He's a very, very affectionate dog, very cuddly. Um, he loves being outside and playing with his toys. And yeah, that's still quite. Okay guys, and that's going to be it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more horsey content and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.